Hello. Good day. This is Lady Somerset of Heart of a Woman's Ministry. And I just wanted to close this year out with just a few words. The word that I am seeing, the word that I feel is going to be pertinent for us is prepare. P-R-E. P-A-R-E. Prepare. And for each of us, it may be unique. The prepare for you may get, be getting your finances together. Prepare for you may be coming into right relationship with the Savior. Prepare for you may be getting your resume together. Prepare for you may be stocking up your kitchens. Prepare for you may be taking a look at every aspect of your life and where it is weak to build it up. It's good to make resolutions. However, most people will not keep those resolutions before January 31st, 2023 rolls out. The scripture that I thought that was pertinent were two. One was James 1 and 5. Any man lacketh wisdom, let him ask of God. And the second, Matthew 25, I believe it's 1 through 13, when it talks about the versions. And most of you who are about Bible scholars know the story about the five wise and the five foolish. There were 10 versions and they went out to meet the bridegroom. And in the midst, the bridegroom was late. They fell asleep. And what happened was that when he arrived, five of them did not have the oil necessary to complete the journey. And even some of us today can say, we started a course didn't finish it in 2022. We started a career. We didn't complete that in 2022. We started a business. We didn't complete that in 2022. So while we still have these few hours left, let us prepare our minds, our bodies, and our, most of all, our spirits to be prepared to complete an assignment in 2023. All is not lost, may not have been completed, but it's not lost. And that's why it's important to know what it is that God is calling for us to do. There are some friendships that we need to pull away from. There are some places that no longer fit in our lives. And there's some of us who God has been pulling on to do better, to do ministry, to walk in the calling that he's called you into. And some of us have gotten to the point where we just have lost the zest for life. That, my friend, can happen to the best of us. But the scripture says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So have you lost your joy? Prepare. Take a walk. Tell God. Speak to the Holy Spirit. Ask him for wisdom. Ask him to light the way. Ask him for clarity. Ask him to make the path clear. Some of us have been just getting up, getting dressed, watching television, going to church, and returning home. And we have not figured out yet what our purpose is. Your purpose 
is to glorify God. It's not complicated. There's many books that have been written about it. And one day I learned the purpose is very simple. Glorify God. Each of us are unique. I'm learning to stay in my lane. I'm learning to do what God has called me to do. And sometimes, some of us who are givers, and we love hard, and we find that we are drawn into other lanes that aren't created for us. We're doing good things, but it's not what God has called us to do. A lot of people are in church and they're doing busy stuff. But it's not stuff that the Holy Spirit is directing us. Take a good look at your life. Take this time to prepare yourself to make the correct choices, the choices that will be needed for you to make in 2023. Take time to slow down and evaluate what worked for you this year and what did not work for you. Prepare. Prepare your mind, soul, and spirit. Prepare your body in the sense that you won't be eating the things that we know aren't good for our bodies. It's all about choice. So as I conclude this little talk on today, I pray that 2022 will find you on the other side of 2023. And that you will be preparing yourself, your mind, your soul, your body to do great things in 2023. Will everything be as we require or we ask? No, it will not. But if you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, he will show you how to make the best of your time. He will show you and he will lead you around the traps and the devices. It doesn't matter who's for you. It doesn't matter who your haters are. It don't matter who lied on you. It don't matter who cheated you. Because you know what? If God is for you, my beloveds, who can be against you? Keep the faith. Walk with the King. And be a blessing. And hopefully, we'll see each other on the other side of 2023. God bless you and keep you. And may have a smile upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name.